We're going to show you how to prepare live lobster for cooking. And we're preparing it in a way that we're breaking down the parts of the lobster. The first thing you're going to notice is we have the lobster on its back. And the reason you do this is this will put the lobster into a sleep-like state. It won't wiggle around on you and it will make it a lot easier to work with. The first thing you want to do is hold the lobster by the legs covering over the head. Next, you want to take your chef's knife, find the joint right here where the tail would meet the body. You can follow the line here. You're going to take your knife and you're going to insert it and thrust up towards the head. What this is going to do is this is going to sever the lobster's nervous system and kill it instantly. Just like that. You may notice a little bit of movement afterwards, um, but the lobster is no longer alive. The next step is removing the tail. Simply hold the body, curl the tail under itself or over itself, and twist it the opposite way of the body and pull. You may notice this organ fall out. This is known as the tomale. Uh, it's essentially a toxin producing or toxin filtering system in the lobster's body, very similar to our livers. This is considered by many people to be a delicacy when it's cooked, um, and a lot of people just leave it in the head. The next thing you want to do to break down the lobster is grab the claw and arm by the base of the arm, hold the body with the other head, and twist off the arms and separate them. You do that for both arms. Now you have a lobster broken down into its parts. You can simply just grill these parts. You can use them in soups uh, and other preparations. You could roast them. The head here can be saved in the freezer for stock or used right away for stock or for fla flavoring sauces. To prepare the tail one last little bit for quicker cooking, lay the tail flat on the board, take your knife, and it's good to use a heavier knife that is definitely sharp, always use sharp knives, no matter what you're doing, and lay it in the center of the tail, and push down to cut the, the tail in half. You may notice a little bit of the sand vein. Um, this is part of the lobster's digestive system. They eat bits of sand to help them digest their food. You can just pull this out and get rid of it. Now you've turned one lobster into enough that four people can share a little bit of it each. Enjoy your lobster.